hi guys this is rahul from finance excel today we'll be having a short discussion on roi safety first criteria right so the roi safety first criteria is a relatively simple topic in l1 syllabus right and uh, basically the rsf criteria is stating that the optimal portfolio is that portfolio which minimize the probability of portfolio return being less than a minimum acceptable return right fair quite fair enough right and uh, here in case we need to discuss what shortfall risk is right so shortfall risk is the risk that the portfolio return will not meet a minimum acceptable return or in other words the portfolio return would be the would be less than the minimum acceptable return so that is the shortfall risk right so in basic or very simple words roi safety first criteria states that the optimal portfolio is that portfolio which minimizes shortfall risk right which minimizes shortfall risk or optimal portfolio is that portfolio which is minimizing the probability of the portfolio return being less than a minimum acceptable return right now see guys this is how the rsf ratio is calculated right so the rsf ratio is calculated as expected return of the portfolio minus a minimum acceptable return divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio right so now very important point the output of the rsf ratio indicates how many hds the mar is below the expected return of the portfolio right so if the rsf ratio is 2 right this means that this means that the mar is 2 hd below the expected return of the portfolio right so rsf ratio of 2 indicates that the mar is 2 hd below the expected return of the portfolio right so we've taken i've taken a small example out here the expected return of the portfolio is 10% hd is 5% minimum acceptable return is 5% so the rsf ratio is 10 which is my expected return minus 5 which is the minimum acceptable return right divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio which is 5% my rsf ratio is 1 now this rsf ratio of 1 indicates that the minimum acceptable return of 5% is 1 hd below the expected return of the portfolio right so even though the rsf ratio is a positive number right its interpretation is as if it was a negative one right so this data plots in this fashion on the normal distribution and on the standard normal it would plot in this fashion right or in this manner now basic a very simple and quick interpretation of rsf ratio and mar right a mar of 5% on the normal distribution right corresponds to a rsf ratio of 1 which in turn is corresponding to a z score of Minus one on the standard normal distribution, right? So if the RSF ratio of a portfolio is two, right, it would correspond to a Z score of minus two. If the RSF ratio of a portfolio is two point five, it would correspond to a Z score of minus two point five on the standard normal distribution. If we could, you know, if we could think of the RSF ratio, if we could think of the relationship between the RSF ratio and the Z score, it would be easier for us to calculate the uh, answer to any question that is provided to us in the examination. Right now, guys, this area to the left of the minimum acceptable return on the normal distribution and area to the left of the rsf ratio on the standard normal distribution indicates the shortfall risk now this area to the left of the rsf ratio is basically indicating the probability that the portfolio return would be less than the minimum acceptable return right or basically in other words it is indicating the shortfall risk so guys if we are able to minimize this area to the left of the rsf ratio right 
we would be minimizing the shortfall risk right so let us take an example see guys there are two portfolios portfolio a which has an rsf ratio of 1 and portfolio b which has an rsf ratio of 2 right portfolio with the rsf ratio of 2 clearly has lower area to the left of its rsf ratio or we can also say that since it has lower area to the left of its rsf ratio it has a lower probability of portfolio return being less than the minimum acceptable return or in other words we can also say that portfolio b has a lower shortfall risk compared to portfolio a which has a rsf of 1 right and we can clearly see that the area to the left of the rsf ratio of 1 is much much higher than that of the portfolio b which has a rsf ratio of 2 right so we can clearly see that a higher value of the rsf ratio is minimizing the shortfall risk right so we can say that the higher the rsf ratio lower the shortfall risk lower the shortfall risk, lower the probability that the portfolio return would be less than the minimum acceptable return, right? And lower the RSF ratio, higher the shortfall risk, higher the shortfall risk, higher the probability that the portfolio return would be less than the minimum acceptable return. Now guys, the last question, what would be the optimal portfolio as per the RSF criteria? The optimal portfolio would be that portfolio which has the highest RSF ratio because the portfolio which has the highest RSF ratio, right, ha would have the lowest shortfall risk. I hope this video helps. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Meet you in the next video.